Hi, it's Dwyer. Today is February the 20th, 2021. DigitalAssetLife.com, RichardDwyer.co. Let's talk cryptocurrency, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, in crypto, there's a saying, and it's one I normally believe in. Not your keys, not your crypto. In other words, when you leave your hard-earned cryptocurrency on an exchange, you're at the mercy of the exchange. I can tell you I personally had an exchange disappear on me in the early days of crypto. Right? Understand, too, exchanges can get hacked. Your cryptocurrency is safest when it's in your possession. Now, I want people to realize that there are ways that you can stake cryptocurrency from your cold ledger wallet, for example. Right? You need to research those. But if you're a daredevil, as I am from time to time, and if you're willing to leave some cryptocurrency that you can afford to lose on an exchange in order to gain interest on that cryptocurrency, then there's some ideas that someone like me will consider. Now, let me just make a disclaimer right here. This is not and should not be considered investment advice. It is offered for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. All I'm doing is sharing what I'm looking into, what I will likely do next week. I have not done it yet. Now, while I was researching Coinbase's direct listing, which is upcoming, right? Coinbase is going to be a public company. I came across a publicly traded company, Voyager Digital. The investment symbol is VYGVF. Again, VYGVF. And this is an apt. It's a startup that is similar to Coinbase, but exceeds Coinbase in some ways, right? Let's just say that it's red hot. It's an on fire digital asset exchange that has an interface that is very easy to use. It's for speculators, right? You don't want to invest your kid's college fund on it. On Google Play, it already has over 100,000 downloads. On Apple iPhone, it's already in the top 50 of all downloads. Um, I believe you're going to get it at a discount to what you would pay for Coinbase. And the kicker is that it pays interest on cryptocurrencies that you keep on the exchange past a certain amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a website. It's rewards.investvoyager.com. Again, it's rewards.investvoyager.com. And they're going to list the interest rates that they're paying this month for a host of cryptocurrencies. In other words, you put the cryptocurrency on the exchange, you leave it there for the required period of time, Right, You leave a minimum balance and they will pay you back in interest on that cryptocurrency. The interest is denominated in the cryptocurrency. So right now, Bitcoin, if you leave 0.01 Bitcoin on their exchange, they will pay you 5.5%. Right? Ethereum. If you leave 0 0.5 Ethereum on their website, they will pay you 
4%. Polka dot. If you leave 25 polka dot on their exchange, they will pay you 4%. Again, this is a publicly listed company. Dash, they're paying you 3%. If you leave 1.5 dash on their uh, exchange. <coughs> Cardano, if you leave a thousand Cardano on their exchange, they will pay you 3% interest. The interest is computed annually. Right? The holding period on their exchange varies per coin. I would encourage you to go to the site and to research it. Right? Now, my point is simply this. I'll agree. You can get more interest on some other sites. Bitcoin, for example, right now on BlockFi, again, you're going to have to give up your keys. On BlockFi.com, you're getting 6% interest. I can tell you that Polkadot, on Kraken right now is paying 12% interest right but these interest numbers are tremendous let's just say that the number of coins that they're paying interest on and they include EOS they include Kyber right they include Chainlink The collection of coins on Voyager is stunning, and some of the interest rates are interesting, right? And so, what I'm going to do next week is I'm going to put some Cardano on Voyager. In fact, hell, I'm going to do that this weekend. I'm going to put some Cardano on Voyager. So I can start to earn interest on that Cardano. Now understand, there are ways where you could earn interest on your Cardano. You could stake your Cardano using a Ledger wallet, right? But I'm going to do it here on this exchange. This is kind of like a trial balloon. Just to see if the interest accumulates, just to see if this site is credible. Again, I'm not offering investment advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. What I'm going to do early next week is I'm going to invest in Voyager Digital. Right? The app has been downloaded. I have the app on my phone, and it is easy to use. Very convenient. I'm impressed by their interface. Right? I believe that as these cryptos take off, and these are the people, by the way, behind the Voyager coin, just food for thought. As these cryptos take off, as these exchanges take off, you can get a piece of the action both by staking on the exchange, but also by owning a portion of the exchange. <coughs> Again, the symbol is VYGVF. Right? V-Y-G-V-F. I'm interested. This has my attention. Right? I'm going to give it a look. What I want you to do is your own independent research. Understand, as I make this video, I do not have an ownership stake in Voyager Digital. I plan to. I plan to. But I don't right now right what i think might happen is coinbase hits public markets it's going to get a lot of attention it's going to get a very high market cap then people are going to look around and they're going to realize whoa wait a moment there's some newer exchanges that are offering more in some areas they're going to look at this voyager digital number of downloads the increasing usage, the popularity of the Voyager coin, and the interest rates they're paying. And I believe Voyager might be able to piggyback a little bit off Coinbase's market cap. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments.
in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.